everybody, it's Anna. Welcome to the Wednesday card in this week's tarot story. We have the Seven of Swords. So the number seven is connected to discernment or making wise choices. And swords are connected to the mind. So they're about beliefs and paradigms and systems and mindsets. So when this card shows up, it suggests to me that we are be being invited to choose carefully our own mindsets. Just as this fellow is sneaking around the camp, he's picking up, stealing swords here and there. We want to choose the swords that we are going to use for our lives. We want to choose the beliefs, the mindsets, and also disregard or set aside the ones that are not serving us. And this is an important step we have to make on a semi-regular basis in the spiritual journey because our mind um, very quickly attaches to ideas, beliefs. Basically, it's, these are just tools, but the mind really likes its tools. So the mind can kind of grab onto something and hold onto it. And even when that tool no longer serves us, the mind is reluctant to let it go. So we have to deliberately kind of scan around in our mind for what we believe is real, um, what we're committed to, and asking ourselves whether it still serves us. This is also important because when we are little, we don't have any capacity for discernment about mindsets or beliefs. We are little sponges, so we soak it all in. So many of us have mindsets that were given to us when we were two or three or four, and we've never um, really examined whether they make sense for our lives. So this card is about, you know, pausing, asking the question, you know, uh, one mindset that many of us have is um, money is difficult to come by. Okay, so that what that mindset does, it's, it encourages us to work really hard. Now, if you like working really hard, this is not a problematic mindset for you, right? You're okay with that. If you don't like working hard, which is me right here, then that mindset feels like it's a problem. It feels heavy. It feels draggy. I don't like it. Um, so consider where your mindsets are getting in your way. Um, when you feel yourself inspired and you get stopped, why are you getting stopped? What's stopping you? That's very likely a mindset that is not serving your, your highest good. So yesterday we had the Empress reverse and I talked about how um, we can get anxious and feel pressured about creating something. We've got a vision, we've got an idea, and we feel like we have to take action. And that feeling of restlessness comes from the fact that we don't fully trust ourselves to know how to bring this vision to life. We think we have to be diligent. We have to be, we have to make it heavy. We have to make it work. Um, so that is a very insidious mindset we want to look at. The Empress shows us that creative flow is not work. It feels natural. It feels organic. It feels good. So if your creative process feels like work, there might be a mindset um, tripping you up a little bit. So ask yourself, what do you believe about the creative process? Do you believe being an artist means you're going to starve? Um, you're going to be a beggar? Or does it mean you have to work, you know, 70 hours a week to, to prove yourself? Does it mean you have to fight for clients? What does it mean for you? And ask yourself, does that mindset help you move forward or does it get in your way? And begin to call out those swords. See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you would like more content from me, please consider joining my Patreon community. The link is right here below the video. I'm committed to at least once a week um, posting content that is exclusive to my Patreon subscribers, and I do monthly giveaways where I, I send people customized tarot spreads. So if that sounds like fun to you, come on and join us. I hope to see you there. Bye.